Welcome back to the Green Iron Expert. We're continuing our ACC football predictions today, and our next team looked like prime national title contenders and so they lost three straight to end the season. But their Heisman winning quarterback returns, and they're looking to win their first conference title in the ACC. They are the Louisville Cardinals. They're attacking both offensively and defensively. This is without question the best offense that Bobby Petrino has had since his return. You know it's coming and you still can't stop it. I have my popcorn ready. They are not letting up. Never turn off a Lamar Jackson game. Louisville making a resounding statement to the nation. This is the way we've come to expect this offense to operate. Message loud and clear from Bobby Petrino. Louisville was one of the most exciting teams to watch last season, led by Lamar Jackson and their high-flying offense. This season, Lamar Jackson does return, but they only return 11 starters total, including only four on offense, so he's going to have a lot of work to do. But I think he has the potential to have another Heisman winning campaign, and Louisville definitely has an opportunity to win their first ACC title since they joined the conference. But they're going to have to defeat the top dogs, Florida State and Clemson, to do that. So, just to get started, they open with Purdue in Indianapolis. A kind of a cool um, Power 5 game between an ACC and a Big Ten school. Uh, like I said earlier, you don't really think of Purdue much as a, as a Power 5 team, as I said earlier, but um, they're usually at towards the bottom of the Big Ten. But that'll be a fun one to watch uh, up in Indianapolis. But I'm going to give Louisville the win over Purdue. Uh, but I don't think it'll be much of a game. I think they're going to be really uh, hyped up Louisville since because of the way they ended last season with three straight losses to Houston, Kentucky, and LSU. Horrible way to go out. They were number three in the country when they lost at Houston. And they and they blew it. They ended up finishing way down in the top 25. So that's unfortunate. Then right after that Purdue game, they open up at North Carolina and immediately playing an ACC conference game. North Carolina will not be as good as they've been the past two years, but they do have Brandon Harris at quarterback, who used to be LSU's quarterback. So that's good, a quarterback with experience. But they're going on the road. Uh, I think North Carolina is kind of be like sort of a rebuilding year for them. And I'm going to give Louisville a win on the road there. And then, uh, as you saw earlier in my Clemson video, this is going to be a fun game to watch. It was a great game last year between Louisville and Clemson. I think if Louisville won that game, um, their whole season could have been changed, especially considering they lost three games in the regular season. Uh, so they got Clemson there at home, and I think they're going to win that game. I think they're going to get revenge on Clemson. I think Clemson, you know, I have them going 10-2, and two, but they're going to have to replace some starters. Louisville is a very tough environment to play in. We saw that last year when Florida State came to visit early in the season. I think Louisville will get the win over a uh, over one of the top dogs in their in their division. So then, uh, unlike most teams, uh, Louisville's getting their kind of their cupcake teams later on in the schedule. They close out November against Kent State and Murray State. Both easy wins there. Uh, Lamar Jackson's going to run all over them. Could score seven touchdowns again, like he did against uh, against Charlotte in the season opener. Um, so they're sitting at 5-0. and They're sitting pretty good right now going into October. This is a danger game right here. October 5th, it's a Thursday night. They're going to North Carolina State. I've said great things about them. They're 17 returning starters. North Carolina State gave teams like, uh, well, they gave Clemson a fit last year. Uh, almost beat Clemson at, uh, on the road. This year, Louisville has to travel to North Carolina State, and I'm predicting a loss for them on the road at NC State. That's a, that's a danger game. It's a Thursday night. I think they're going to be hyped up. NC State is going to be very good this year uh, with their 17 returning starters. Very, very good. A huge contender in the Atlantic Division, uh, and they're going to defeat Louisville uh, at home that night. Then they get a couple days off, nine days off, where they play Boston College. Uh, Boston College, you know, like I said, usually hovers around the five to seven win mark. At home, though, I think Louisville gets, takes care of them pretty easily there. Boston College has never really been known to spring upsets like that, especially on the road. Uh, and this year, I think it's going to be the same way. Um, they usually go to those like, you know, lower-level bowls if they even make one. Um, so then they go to Florida State. And if you look at this real quick, though, 
Uh, what are they? Five and zero oh here. So I have them at six and one. That's seven games. They play nine games before they get a bye week. Their bye week doesn't come to the first week in November. So Louisville is kind of getting worn down as they go along uh, throughout up until November. At Florida State, a very tough environment. Remember what happened last year? Louisville annihilated Florida State, and that was Lamar Jackson's coming out party. And really show the people should fear Louisville that they're a legit contender, not only in the ACC, but nationally as well. This year, they have to go to Florida State. I'm going to predict a loss there. We know uh, Florida State's a tough place to play, and I think Florida State's going to want revenge too. They're more experienced than they were last year, and I'm going to give uh, Louisville a loss there. So two losses to two ACC foes. Doesn't necessarily take them out of the race yet, uh, but it doesn't help their case. They're going to probably need to win out to maybe have a small outside chance of making the college football playoff. Uh, Wake Forest on the road, that's going to be a good bounce back game for them. Uh, they killed them last year, Wake Forest, um, and I think that's going to be a good bounce back game. Then they get their bye week, rest up a little bit. They went 2-2 two and two over that four-week stretch, get a bye week, and then they get two back-to-back -back home games before facing their in-state rival, Kentucky. Uh, Virginia usually at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the ACC standings. I love I love Bronco Mendenhall as a coach. I think he's doing good things there. And Virginia should be a little bit better this year uh, offensively, but they're still not to the point where I'm going to pick them to win a huge game like this. Although they almost did beat Louisville last year at home, if you do remember that, that was a very close game. But this year they have to travel to Louisville, and that's going to be a win. Um, now if this was basketball, I might be choosing Virginia. And then Syracuse, get them at home as well. You remember that Louisville ran all over Syracuse last year, early on in the season. Um, this year, Syracuse has to travel there. I love their offense. I think Syracuse will improve uh, a lot from last season. But, you know, on the road, it's hard to win. Another win for Louisville. So it's sitting really good right now. Sitting at 9-2, going into the final week of the season at Kentucky. As you saw in my SEC videos, I love this Kentucky team. They return 17 starters just like North Carolina State does. Uh, they're a danger uh, to Louisville. They're a danger to a couple SEC teams as well. At Kentucky, Kentucky won last year at Louisville late on a field goal. This year, I'm predicting another win for Kentucky in this series. So Louisville gets a loss on the road at Kentucky, finishes the season once again at 9-3. Not a horrible season, but I think for Louisville fans, this would be very disappointing considering the talent they have uh, in Lamar Jackson. Um, if I had to choose one of these games I predict them to lose for them to win, it would probably be this Kentucky game right here. Which So they have the potential, I think, to get to 10-2. and two. I'm not calling for that. I'm going to stick with my 9-3 prediction. But they have potential to get to 10-2, and two, and they would have a small outside chance of reaching uh, the college football playoff, but I doubt it. They're probably looking at a uh, have a they right now at nine and three. I think they have an outside chance of making a New Year's Six bowl. Um, so for the nation, not a disappointing season for Louisville for their fans probably. Uh, so Lamar Jackson will go out with back to back nine win seasons. Very exciting to wa uh, very excited to watch this Louisville team though. Um, you know, starting off five and zero, oh, and uh, we'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens. So I'm but I'm very excited to see what Petrino has in store this year. So please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these predictions. Uh, remember, at the end of our, all of our ACC predictions, I'm going to give you a standings rundown to see where teams are located in the standings. Uh, so I'll do that at the very end. But uh, please continue to let me know what you think about these predictions. And we will see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.